To what? Dogs, how do you feel about people uh, breeding American bullies to dogs that are considered exotics? I think it, you got to have separation. I mean, that that's kind of what destroys the identity of a breed. Um, I think that's ridiculous. Um, you know, if you want to be exotic and that's something that you want to do, then they need to have a separation. I'm not trying yeah. to hate on any one thing, but there has to be separation. My biggest problem is in a young breed is the American bully. They, we are still working on identity. We're still working on classification. We're still working on building and, and developing this breed. It's a very young breed. And when you have things that aren't the American bully that are outside of the standard and are, that are trying to go a different direction, then those things need to separate and they need their space and they need their identity and they need to move into their own category. And what we don't need to do is intertwine the two things and add more confusion to a, a very young breed. So I disagree with that. Um, and I think, you know, that this is a beautiful breed. The American bully is a beautiful breed. It is the breed that'll stop. When you walk down the street with an American bully, it will stop people in their tracks. You know it. Everybody knows it. When you have a well-built American bully and you take that dog out in public and you walk it down the street, people stop to wonder, what is that you're walking? What is this dog? People love this. It's a beautiful breed. No offense to the other breed, but if you can even walk them down the street, and I'm sorry to say, but a lot of these things you can't even walk down the street, they're not going to stop you and say, wow, what is that? They're going to say, what the hell is that? You know, so there's a difference. The American bully is something that will stop you in its track. It's a beautiful breed and it needs to remain being a beautiful breed and it needs its respect. And if you're in the American bully breed, then you need to breed American bullies. If you're somewhere in between the two, then you need to move on and go to where you're going to do and leave this breed the way it needs to be and let it grow and build. Stop trying to taint our breed, change our breed. Let us finish our breed and keep the beauty of our breed. I don't want to take our breed down a direction that it can't come back from. This was never meant to be a breed that wasn't functional. It's meant to be a dog carrying mass bone and substance yes it's supposed to be physically impressive yes but it's still supposed to be the ultimate companion meaning it should be able to do what you do if you go jogging it should go jogging if you're watching tv it should be right there next to you right watching tv it's your companion but it's a dog that should be functional and able to live a normal life and, and, and do everything that we do. So if you're breeding something that's not that, then get away from the American bully because you're screwing up the breed.